tea time. Hello, people. Natalie, you want to say hi? Hi. Nene, oh, that's Nene. Nene, say hi. Hi. Thank you, Nene. Natalie, you want to say hi? hi. Tata, you want to say hi? hi? Hello. All right. So today we had the highest temperatures. What, what was it? Death Valley at, at 101? 134. 134. Global warming, people. It's a real thing. It's not a myth. It's not politicians trying to get money. It's a real thing. And guess who is causing more the most global warming? Babe, can you guess who is causing the most global warming? No. <laughs> Natalie, you wanna guess who is causing the most global warming? Apart from your politicians, even more yeah. than your <laughs> carbon print. Um, carbon print. Oh. By human people, yes. So sometimes you said, apart from carbon fumes, there's even Mumotoka. Our assumption is that our cars, they're the biggest carbon, you know, the carbon markers, biggest producers of carbon, but no, our homes. Our homes, in the sense, yeah, how much water we run when we are taking showers. How, how much, long has your AC been running? Today? I know today my AC has been running the whole day because, and it's still at 80, did right? You, did you turn it off on your way out? No, because uh -huh. I can't catch up. Like it's still at 80 right now. Today there's no turning it off. But here's what I do I make sure that I turn my lights off. You know, if I'm not in a room. Did you leave your fans on? I left my fans on still Why? because of air circulation upstairs. We have, you know, an upstairs and downstairs, and upstairs the. If you turn that fan zone, the AC won't go around well, especially for Natalie's room. Did you leave so, the AC uh, fan on downstairs? Oh yeah, the kitchen fan, that I could have turned off. So you see, it's the small things, right? You're like, okay, which room is not necessary to have a, an appliance on? Unplug all your appliances when you're not using them because sometimes we put our chargers on and they stay in. I still have to work on that. We run our hot water for our washing machines when we shouldn't. Um, if you need to, I mean, if you absolutely have to run a hot, like instead of cold when you're doing your washing machine, yes, but if not, stick to cold. If you can do three cycles as opposed to four, do that three cycles because that one extra cycle you're doing that water, the energy, it's how much energy is being produced to produce power in our homes to run, you know, to, to keep to keep our homes cold it's it's all that it's the food we throw away right i am a culprit of that over shopping even food over cooking over cooking because you're cooking you're using up gas right gas that you're is cooking way too much food that you dump in the long run eh? yes in the long run so uh, uh, just purchasing because it takes it takes power to irrigate right it takes power to dig it you know the tractors and all that so if i'm buying more food than i need and I'm cooking more food. I'm using up gas and time that I should be spending with my husband and my how children. This is uh, basically working in this heat. Mm. Yeah, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So, carbon print, and that's something we can talk more about. How are you reducing your carbon print? Turning off the lights, unplugging, running the cycle at cold as opposed to warm, reducing the number of cycles that you do when you're doing running your washing machine, mm. everything. Well, that's it from us. Happy weekend. Stay safe. Mask up. Wash your hands. I know it's okay to have a mask off in Northern California because 70% of our population has been vaccinated. Actually, woo, woo, right woo, woo. now, the Contra Costa has increased in the COVID cases. So, anybody oh. in the Contra Costa, it's, it's going to become a requirement for you to kind of wear. Wear your mask. Well, our policy as our house, we have non stop wearing our masks. So keep your masks on. As excited about the fact that we've been vaccinated, 70% of us have been vaccinated. Young people, you're the reason why we have a 30% gap. Go get vaccinated. Go get vaccinated, young people. And um, yeah, wash your hands, wear a, wear a mask, in what else? Social distance, yes. Keep your cohort. If you're going for a little party like we're doing, it's the same people you work with or you you know you who go to the same daycare as you because that's your cohort don't expand your cohort seeing relatives or friends oh i haven't seen this person in a long time stay in your small cohort only so because we have kids we have to make a deliberate say, um decision about socializing going for sunday school but we 
are very intentional about keeping our small circle so that we don't introduce new people and we can try to move here for the next two years for the next two years yeah. <laughs> we love you guys Yay.